the Laughing Cavalier here, presenting to you another tale of these troubled times. And it's another unscripted video with a few notes. So I've held off as long as I can, but I think I, now's the time to make this um, next one in the uh, upcoming Tudor drama series. <laughs> becoming a regular thing. Uh, I was mainly holding off because of uh, Becoming Elizabeth, because we might um, get the trailer soon. I, well, I've been saying that for months now and nothing's, <laughs> nothing's happened. But, but yeah, but we'll, we'll get onto that in a minute. Just before I begin, there's a bit more news on uh, Ridley Scott's Napoleon. They've started filming in London, and there's been quite a few pictures, actually, of um, there was a guillotine at Somerset House, and there's pictures of like men dressed up as grenadiers outside the old um, Naval College at Greenwich. So possibly what I think I might do is I might wait until they finished filming, which will be in, oh, I think they said April or something like that, and then I'll perhaps do another, or May, I can't remember when they said, and then I'll do a, do a follow-up video perhaps. But, uh, but anyway, we're back to the Tudor draft yesterday. So uh, we've got, you know, a returning favourite uh, first up, which I thought I'd better cover, Becoming Elizabeth. Uh, still not been released yet. <laughs> um, it's certainly, I, I think it's, I wonder if there's been some delay perhaps because of the, um, you know, the, the you know what. <laughs> Uh, of course, in real terms, not much has changed in terms of news. Uh, there are a few bits of casting here and there. I th can't remember if I covered them last time I did it. Mainly, um, uh, Denny's uh, family has been cast. Uh, I'll flash that up on the screen now, so we know we're getting them a little bit. Uh, I think I mentioned Robert Kett had been cast, didn't I? And uh, other than that, not much really on the casting front. However, a little while ago, I think it was three weeks ago now, at the time of recording this, they released a bunch of promo pictures, which I don't have to hand. Sorry, I'll just get them up a second. Uh, I want to say, but there was about four they officially released, and then there was one they put up on their Instagram that they sort of took down almost immediately. But it's, it's you know, the internet always remembers. So, but yeah, the four they've done, there's two of Elizabeth, uh, one of which is, you know, the first one is in the thumbnail. Um, and yeah, wearing quite a nice dress. Uh, perhaps the uh, the hood is a bit plainer than I'd imagine. So, you know, compare it to, I'll flash a picture of Elizabeth in, was it 1546, I think, on screen now. So obviously it's a little plainer. I, I think the budget might be because of that. And also, I think I've noticed what the necklace she's wearing. It seems to be she's only got half a necklace on. It sort of it looks like it stops, <laughs> but like they've done the, obviously they've done it so they don't have to do the second half, I guess. So it looks like it just goes under her under the dress there, sort of thing, to trick you to think she's wearing a full necklace. But I think that's fine. That's probably just the budget got a bit low. So I just appreciate that they've they've at least tried with the costumes. Second one's a bit like you know she's got her hair loose again, which is not very accurate, but. I think they're trying to do that old thing of, um, you know, oh, young girls must have the hair loose and down and um, with the tie up, they're like an adult. So they're, they're trying to make her look more younger, I think. couple of Seymour um, brooding that we'll see. And then the, the unofficial one that they quickly took down, but then it's, you know, going to be, it's been saved. And I, I think one of the, the one of the actors put it on their Instagram as well. So uh, there's a bunch of the court just standing around. I think there's meant to be probably like Edward's probably just after his coronation or something, because he's wearing, you know, his crown, and they're all dressed in their finery and robes. Um, it looks really nice. and I'm loving the set at the back, the, the pillars. It looks very much like that Holbein, I think it was a Holbein painting, I can't remember, the big one Henry VIII had done of his dynasty. You know, he sat in the middle with Jane Seymour, who's dead for years at this point, but, you know, <laughs> Henry liked her. And then there's Edward, then Mary and Elizabeth. Um, yeah, it's honestly looking quite good, and got a costume front-wise. So uh, now airing date, previously I'd heard April was the airing date, and that's mainly because Ramola Garay in an interview, and she even verbed in this interview a couple of weeks before this announcement, said it was about April it was going to come out, and then <laughs> they've now said the summer, so that, might, that could be perhaps it was originally slated for April and then it's been delayed, or you know that was just a trick, you know? <laughs> either way it seems to be summer sometimes, that could be you know any time Take your pick, really. <laughs> I'd have thought sooner rather than later, maybe June would make sense, but who knows? <laughs> uh, apparently, there's an event in Lille in France relatively soon. Might have happened by the time I've, I've made this video, uh, where they'll be screening some of the episodes there or something. So hey, hey fingers crossed, it'll happen. Like what happens to Spanish princess? Somebody leaks it ahead of time, then I can watch it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry, I shouldn't have said that. Uh, no, d d never, never, never go on the high seas, everyone. Never do it. <laughs> but yeah, so again, I think we'll get a trailer relatively soon. I think we're still going to get season two. Um, as I said, I'm sticking with that. And uh, other than that, I think I'm sticking with what I said in my previous videos. But now we go on to the new announcements. Uh, the main one is this Firebrand. Uh, previously titled Virtuous Woman, and then, and then titled Queen Gambit, and now Firebrand. Uh, this was announced last year. I recorded a video, uh, but then I got distracted with, with, with the Anne Boleyn series and everything to do with that. So uh, I thought I'd wait till now. From what I understand, it's based on a book called The Queen's Gambit by an author called Elizabeth Fremantle, and I've never read it. <laughs> um, 
I might consider possibly because I heard there's or well, I've heard there's a rather dodgy scene in it where Thomas Seymour. How can I put this delicately? Because I'm on YouTube. Well, I'll just put a picture of Homer backing into into a hedge, and you, you get the idea of what Thomas Seymour does to Elizabeth in it, apparently. But yeah, but anyway, as I mentioned, it was originally called A Virtuous Woman, according to the IMDb. Then it was changed to Queen's Gambit to reflect the book. Then Netflix came out with that series about chess, and so now it's got they had to change it to uh, Firebrand. Now, casting initially confirms Michelle Williams as Catherine Parr. This was in July of 2021. And then Jude Law was cast in October as Henry VIII, which again, I'm I'm really not keen on that casting of him as Henry. I don't because th- this is meant to be Henry right at the end of his reign. This is the Henry you, you've seen in the, all the paintings, you know, the, the rather rotund gentleman, <laughs> shall we say? And he looks, wait, you know, he maybe he could play Henry, perhaps. I even I don't even know really could I don't really see him as Henry. That's the thing. It may have just been spoiled by people like Keith Michelle and so on, but like. Ugh. I don't think he's going to capture that sort of physical presence of the king, uh, and particularly at a time when this this is the the tyrant of legend, really. However, very recently in February, uh, Michelle Williams dropped out due to a scheduling conflict and has been replaced by Alicia Vikander. I don't think I've seen much she's been in. Um, and I know she's famous for the Tomb Raider films, isn't she? Um, who she's a bit young. She's about thirty three, so she's actually probably better age, I think, for Catherine. And I think yeah, she she could she could work. Um, we'll see how that goes. And then Simon Russell Beale, who I think the only thing I've seen him in is Death of Stalin, from what I remember, uh, he's been brought on as Bishop Stephen Gardner. There's no other casting news at the moment I'm recording this, but that does seem to suggest we're going to mainly be getting focused on that period with uh, Gardner trying to get rid of Catherine. Um, and particularly, and the confirmation of that is Elizabeth Fremantle on her Twitter said that in the most recent draft of the screenplay that I've seen, it covers only a single year of her story, an important year. Which I'm guessing is fifteen, you know, forty-six or somewhere around there. I think that's when that happened. I'll have to double check. Maybe forty-five. No, I think it's forty-six. Apparently, the production company for this is a new one called Bruhaha Entertainment. <laughs> Which that sounds like a fake name. Like if if I was like some mafia don, I'm like I'm I'm fraudulently claiming you know this is for for like you know tax purposes or something or like you know for my smuggling operations. Like so, what what's the name of your entertainment company? So I was like, oh, it's um. Uh, Bru ha 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 entertainment. Uh-huh. So what what films are you making, sir? Like um period pieces. It's like okay, what one? Uh, Henry the Eighth's wife. Which one? Sixth one. Sixth one. Yeah. Okay. What's the name of the film? It's uh, uh, uh Queen's Gambit. It's like that's a Netflix series. Like, oh, did I say Queen's Gambit? No, 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 no. I <laughs> I meant Firebrand. Hey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, the director, a guy called Karim Ainuj, and apologies for mispronouncing that, who's from Brazil, who hasn't really directed this sort of period piece before, and I'm a little bit worried about that, particularly because he's described it as going to be a psychological thriller. So I'm getting Anne Boleyn flashbacks again. And now apparently filming is due to start sometime in April, so we're already pressing the head. And it's got a castle, singular, lined up, uh, but we don't know where, so... But hey, apparently they're going to be telling the undiscovered story of Catherine Park, as no one knows that <laughs> about the sixth wife of Henry VIII. But, uh, but since it's been filmed now, I think... I probably guess 2023 release, maybe 24, depending on how long it takes with editing, but yeah, we'll see. Uh, I'll briefly mention here Wolf Hall. So I did a video on this pre the pandemic, but um, we've not really heard much since. But it sounds like there, there was, I think there was another article, I haven't got it to hand, confirming that they are going to do another season. And they, they still sound like they're in, like, you know, talks with casting and so on and, you know, scheduling. That's always a, a mess. So from what I've heard, the BBC is still going ahead with it. And I think they'd be mad not to, because it's a very popular series. So, you know, they'd th- be throwing away free. <laughs> I don't know if Freeman and the BBC is you know, funded by the taxpayer, isn't it? So, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Free success. Although, if we don't hear anything, I think within the next year or two, real proper, I'd be a bit worried. Um, realistically, if they start filming, say, next year or something, you could get it by 2024, but I'm being very optimistic with that. Obviously, it'll probably have to be a bit shorter because it's only covering one book, whereas the previous season covered two. So, And I'll just briefly mention this because I'm not, I'm not going to cover this series because it's, it's it's sort of verging on uh you know it's heavily linked to the Tudor because it's to do with elizabeth the first but it's from the irish perspective but and also just the fact i think this production is going to be a disaster but someone told me about this series called the o'neill which is going to be about hugh o'neill the earl of tyrone who if you know your, your history a little bit he led a very famous rebellion against elizabeth um in during the late 16th century um it caused quite a bit of a headache for elizabeth apparently it's going to be four seasons 
each of eight episodes, which is insane to me. It's like, how the hell are you going to make four seasons out of that? That's going to be really stretched. I mean, Spanish Princess was two seasons, and that was a bit, you know, pushing it. How the hell are they going to do that? And I'm not really liking the sound of it, because they described it as going to be... Where is it? Oh, yeah, here's, here's a bit of it. Sent back to Ireland after he came of age to govern for the crown, he has to decide between becoming an English landlord or a Gaelic warlord. His decision would mark the greatest threat to England sovereignty until World War II. So I guess, like, you know, Napoleon... I don't know, he's, he's not a threat. It's Hugh O'Neill. <laughs> and the fact, where was the other line? They described it as going to be... Um, oh, yes, here it is. The, um, the writers apparently called it the, uh, the O'Neill a brave heart for television, which is like... Oh boy, we're going to have uh, Mel Gibson, I mean, you know, <laughs> in Gaelic war paint, you know, like screaming about uh, <laughs> freedom or something. So, yeah, I'm a little bit, I'm, I don't think I'm going to cover this one because it's a little bit, it's technically, you know, something, yeah, I, mean, I know a little bit about that period, but I'm more focused on the Tudor dynasty itself, really. So I think I'll leave that to others to talk about. And also, I just, I think that sounds like it's going to be a disaster. Brave heart for television, way too long and stretched out. And yeah, <laughs> but anyway, um... Yeah, so that's roughly it for the moment. I suspect the next video will probably be the Becoming Elizabeth trailer, which I'll do a full breakdown of when that comes out. So, but yeah, anyway, this has been The Laughing Cavalier, wishing you a good day.